सुधाकर बरबड़े असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलिकम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे वी विल डिस्कस एट जीरो फाइव वन टाइमर्स ऑब्लिक काउंटर्स एंड इट्स प्रोग्रामिंग लर्निंग आउटकम एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू डिस्क्राइब key features of 8051 timer counter and its programming contents first we will see the basics of 8051 timer counter then the special function registers tmod and tcon which are required for programming timer counter we will discuss and timer at counter control logic is uh, very important to understand the concept of programming timer counter in 8051 and lastly the programming of timer in mode 0 we will see let us see the timer counter features of 8051 8051 has two 16 bit up timers and counters that means the counting is done in upward mode the names of the these two counters are t0 and t1 respectively they can be configured to operate either as timers or as counters the operation of the timers counters is controlled by two special function registers called sfrs that is t mod and t con now let us discuss timer mode control register t mod t mod register is not bit addressable t mod address is 89h so this is what the t mod register which is a 8 bit register lower four bits are used for controlling timer 0 higher four bits are used for controlling timer 1 the here if you look at there is a gate bit which is used to start and stop the timer gate bit is 0 timer can be started and stopped by using tr0 bit and if you want to start and stop the timer by external event gate must be 1 so if it is 0 internally only we are uh, controlling the timer operation and if this is 1 means external uh, signal is controlling the start and stop of the timer c oblique t bar it is a counter oblique timer this bit if this bit is 1 we are using timer as a counter and if it is zero we are using as a timer then m0 m1 are mode selection bits this is uh, m0 m1 these are mode selection bits if you look at there are four possibilities with two bits when m1 m0 are 0 0 we use it as 13 bit timer when it is a 0 1 we are using 16 bit timer 1 0 it is a 8 bit or auto reload and when it is 1 1 it is a split timer signal goes to the timer or counter and there are two controls here this is one switch this must be on so that the whatever the signal on this line will be passed to the timer otherwise if this switch is off the signal to be counted or the clock to be counted will not go to the timer if this c oblique t bar is zero then timer mode is selected that means this switch is connected to this line and whatever the oscillator frequency of the system is uh, divided by 12 and it goes to this line and if you want to use it this as a counter then c oblique t bar must be one and this switch position will be now move to this line and so which is here the signal will be the, whatever the signal on this will be available here so what signal is available here is decided by the c oblique t bar bit in the t mod register 
and if this bit is uh, zero then only this bit will be one and or gate output will be one this programming bit is used to switch on and off this switch interrupt to control the operation of this switch then this gate must be one so in the timer function mode the counter is incremented every machine cycle machine cycle has uh, 12 t states that's why hence the clock rate is 1 12th of the oscillator frequency now we'll see tcon register this is used to control the timer counter operation the lower four bits are used to control the operation of related with the interrupt and higher four bits are used for uh, uh, timer control tcon register is a bit addressable we can individually access these bits and tcon address is 88h tf1 bit number one overflow flag it is set when timer rolls from all ones to zeros it is cleared when processor execute isr located at address 001bh so isr related with this uh, timer 1 is 001bh similarly the isr related with the timer 0 is 000b so this tf0 bit uh, is used to uh, indicate the overflow of a timer 0 so this is tf1 this is tf0 now we'll see what is tr1 T tr1 run control bit set to 1 to start the timer counter so when we set this bit the timer starts and when we reset it we stop the timer so this is tr1 controlling timer 1 and tr0 which controls timer 0 tl and tx are the timer registers these are 16 bit registers but this mode uh, gives only 13 bit uh, up counting that's why 8 plus 5 is 13 and this goes to this uh, tlx when this overflows it goes to this thx and when this completely overflows a tfx is generated and which in turn generate the interrupt so in this mode both t0 and t1 timers are used as a 13 bit up counter when the counter rolls over from all ones to g all zeros tfx flex is set and interrupt is generated the 13 bit counter can hold values between 00, 00, 00, 00 to 1f ff h in thx and tlx so this count is uh, maximum value the 13 bit register can hold we load in the tlx and thx is initial count so how to find out this this is found by having whatever the required time delay is equal to final count now in this case the final count is what 1f ffh for 13 bit up counting so this is the final count minus initial count which we want to find out and we know the desired time delay whatever we require we put it here plus 1 multiplied by timer clock period so timer clock period how it is found just to look at the timer clock period is 1.085 microseconds for a crystal of 11.0592 megahertz as we saw already frequency given to the timer is divided by 12 much time period of the system now let us have a question what will be t mod value to initialize timer 0 in mode 0 please pause the video and answer the question you might have thought over the question and the answer is 0 0 h now we'll see programming timer in mode 0 and th there are two methods of programming polling method and interrupt method so this algorithm or steps are given for programming timer in polling method to generate a time delay using timer in mode 0 following are the steps to load the tmod value register indicating which timer is to be used next we should load tlx and thx with the initial count value then we set uh, start the timer 
and then you keep monitoring this TFX flag by using this J and B TFX instruction and get out of the loop when TFX becomes high. After that, you stop the timer with uh, this instruction, CLR TRX instruction, then clear the TF flag for the next round with uh, clear TFX instruction and go back to step two to load TLX and THX again. So if this time delay is to be repeated, then you go to the step two. Programming mode zero, timer zero. So this is what the calculation done. Calculation of timer zero reload value in mode zero needed to achieve timer delay of 100 microsecond. Oscillator frequency is 11.0592 megahertz. So here in 13 bit, the final count is 1F FFH, which is equivalent to 8191 decimal value. We put this value, time delay is 100 microsecond, that's why 100 into 10 raised to minus 6. Final count is 8191 minus initial, which we want to find out, plus 1 multiplied by timer clock period for uh, 11.0592 megahertz is this one already we discussed. From this, we get this value 8099.84, which must be rounded to nearest integer, uh, which becomes 8100 uh, decimal. If you convert into de hexadecimal, it becomes 1FA4H. So timer 0 should be loaded with THX 0 as 1F and TLS 0 as A4. This is what programming of timer 0 in mode 0. So already we have found the initial count value for generating time delay of 100 microsecond. So first step is already we know T mod is to be loaded with 00H because we are using timer 0 in mode 0. Uh, timer registers are to be loaded with found value TH with 1F, TL equal to A4 and start the timer 0. And here you wait for TF0 to become 1. So here become 1 only when that timer 0 is overflows. After that, you clear TR0, clear TF0 for the next operation, and this is what the function to generate a time delay of 100 microsecond. This is what uh, C version of the function we studied in the previous slide. So delay is a function. Here T mod is loaded with 00, zero hexadecimal, X stands for hexadecimal value. TL0, TH0 are loaded with these values, whatever we have found, and we start the timer uh, by setting this TR0 is equal to 1, and we wait for TF0 to become 1. And once it becomes 1, then again TR0 is reset, TF0 is reset for the next operation. These are my references for uh, creating this presentation. 8051 Bottle Architecture Programming and Applications by Kenneth Ayla and another is uh, 8051 Microcontroller and Embedded System by Muhammad Ali Mazdi. Thank you.